Hi, welcome to Itate's Crossing. As we look at the world of the new mythic tarot by Juliet Sharmanberg and Liz Green with cards illustrated by Giovanni Casilli, we've been looking at the major arcana. Okay, so we've got up to the world, the last card of the major arcanas. The card of the world portrays a golden serpent coiled in the shape of an egg eating its own tail within its circumference a strange figure dances half male and half female wearing a gold crown on its female head and a wreath of laurel leaves on its male head it is holding in each of the each hand a golden star around the egg shape of the serpent can be seen rising from the clouds a cup a sword a flaming wand and a golden pentacle the world snake called Ouroboros in Greek was said to be itself both male and female, self-impregnating, self-feeding, immortal and complete. Thus, it is the mythic image for both God and nature here, embodied, embodied in one symbol. The four symbols which preside over the realms of water, fire, air and earth reflect the potentials which await development in the new personality. The golden staffs are connected with the magic wand of Hermes, for the reborn personality can create more potentially in the realms of feeling, imagination, mind, and matter. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. So, here we meet Hermaphrodites, who in a myth was the child of Hermes and Aphrodite. In one version of the tale, Hermaphrodites was born a double-sexed being. Being in another version, this duality or unity was made rather than born. Hermaphrodites was originally a male child, and to conceal his illicit birth, Aphrodite immediately confided a, him to the nymphs of Mount Ida, who brought him up in the forest. At the age of fifteen, he was wild and savage youth, whose chief pleasure was to hunt in the wooded mountains. One day, he arrived at the banks of the limpid lakes where freshness tempted him to bathe. The nymph Salmasis, who ruled the lake, saw him and was enamoured of his beauty. She told him so, and in vain the shy youth attempted to repulse her. Salmasis threw her arms around him and covered him with kisses. He continued to resist, and the nymph cried out, O oh gods, grant that nothing may ever separate him from me or me from him. Immediately the two bodies were united and became as one. The four devices which surround the image of her Hermaphrodites in the card of the world belong to the four deities. Aphrodite, the love goddess, Zeus, the king of the gods, Athena, the, god of, the goddess of wisdom, and Poseidon, the god of earthquakes. We've already encountered these symbols in the card of the magician, the cup of love, the wand of creative imagination, and the sword of the intellect, and the pentacle of physical reality. We will meet these four objects again when we explore the four suits of the minor arcana. The serpent which surrounds Hermaphrodites is the ancient world snake, which, as we have seen, embodies the raw, instinctual power of life itself, forever devouring and recreating itself. Of a divinatory level, the card of the world, when it appears in a spread, augurs a time of achievement and integration. This is a period of triumph at the successful conclusion of a matter or the reaching of a goal, which has been worked hard for. But this peak is merely a glimpse of something mysterious and elusive, and the dancing Hermaphrodites becomes the fetus who eventually emerges from the cave as the fool. Thus the great cycle of the major arcana ends where it begins. For we might start with Hermaphrodites as the unborn potential of the personality which ultimately leads to the birth of the fool. And so the circle, like the world snake, is complete. Okay, for me... The world is all about achievement. It's about the journey. It's again, we're looking at the experiences, but we've got here, we've got a sense of completion. We've got the sense of we're ready to begin again. We're moving through the threshold into new possibilities, new potential. It's about using our skills and our abilities to actually walk ahead um, moving forward on our journey. We've got the sense of completion, the sense of achievement, with the sense of moving through a new cycle. 
we've finished the stage and we're ready to begin again. We've become an expert, but yet we're ready to be reborn. You know what I mean? So we've achieved what we need to achieve, but we're ready to start again on something new. Something new to discover, something new to develop within ourselves. This is a great card to um, think about, to reflect on. That's it from me. Don't forget to check the links down below. Check the links on my channel. Like, subscribe and ring the bell so you know when the next video will be uploaded. Take care and blessed be.